Amanda Bynes is reportedly in a new mental health facility at her own discretion. Sources say the Nickelodeon Allen's decision to check herself into the intensive inpatient mental health treatment center came about a week after she was released from the facility she had been admitted to on a psychiatric hold in late June. After leaving the psychiatric facility, the outlet reported that Bynes, who suffers from bipolar disorder and has a history of substance abuse, entered an outpatient program that allowed the former actress to receive treatment while living at home. However, sources claimed that she's the man star, felt like she needed more help than the outpatient program was providing, so she opted for a more therapeutic environment. As per our sources, Bynes was introduced to an inpatient facility in Orange County, California, through her previous treatment center. The new location will provide the hairspray star with a medical team, therapists, and other patients for her to socialize with during her stay. Back in June, reports showed that Bynes was taken into custody after police received a call about a woman who was in distress. She was then placed on a psychiatric hold for a mental health evaluation. It marked the second time this year that Bynes was evaluated by a professional medical unit. The former child star was also detained in March after being found roaming the streets of Los Angeles naked. Bynes reportedly called the police on herself and was taken to a nearby police station. After arriving, a mental health expert evaluated her and determined Bynes needed to be placed on a 5,150 hold. At the time, her ex-fiancé, Paul Michael, exclusively claimed to question that Bynes was off her meds, which prompted the erratic behavior. The two ended their engagement in July 2022, months after Bynes publicly accused Michael of watching mom and son porn and using crack cocaine. What can you say about Amanda Bynes? Please don't forget to hit the subscription button and a like will be great.